Well, well, there was my tent site last night. I'm not as damp as I thought I was going to be this morning, which is okay. I'm carrying a little under a liter of water, including coffee, uh, for the next uh, six miles to Richardson Lake. I expect there's going to be water on trail, like on trail, but uh, I got to go. <sighs> Backpacking is a feat of endurance, and I'm very much more used to feats of strength. So these feats of endurance of walking long miles uphill are tough on me. But I think I've gotten better at it over this hike. Another headbanger of a uh, blowdown. So, I guess. Yeah, hands and knees. Fuck. I made it. But I went around over there. I almost went the wrong way there. I don't know if you can tell, but that sign says PCT this direction, but it's really hard to see. But I'm on the right path. And I probably would have figured it out anyway because comments about that trail say that it uh, deteriorates rapidly as you get further down it. And it stops looking like a trail and things. In this section of uh, Northern Desolation Wilderness, there aren't a lot of views. It's a lot of forest walking, which is fine. It's a lot cruisier and a lot easier to walk on trails like this, even without the views. Well, we get something like that through the trees every now and then. Yeah, like that. If I had known how many blowdowns there would be across the trail when I started Desolation Wilderness, I would have started a, uh, a little series. Blowdowns of Desolation Wilderness, a compendium of trees across the trail. But I did not because they didn't know how many there were going to be. And there it is, the end of Desolation Wilderness. Desolation Wilderness, a review. The vistas and views in the southern part of you is fantastic and breathtaking and stunning, but the hiking is terrible. The northern part of it, north of Fontanellas Lake and uh, the Velmas, is so much better hiking, but it's all in trees and the views are kind of non-existent. But that's my review. It's a good thing I didn't try to do the uh, full 16 miles yesterday. I don't think there's gonna be any camping available between the uh, border of Desolation and Wilderness and the lake. So I would have had to do 17 and a half miles yesterday. And I really would not have enjoyed the last five of them. Okay, I could have camped here and I continued last night. It's still a lot further than I feel like I would have wanted to go. That's Richardson Lake through the trees. I don't feel like getting up to go take a picture. I feel like this break has been both simultaneously both too long and not long enough. So long Richard Richardson Lake. Next stop, Bear Lake Outlet, maybe. I am a man on a mission. I feel like I have worked out in my head how I can be done with this trail and home on Saturday. Get as close to town uh, tomorrow as I possibly can. And the next morning, get up early, Hike into the campground, take a shower, walk across the street to the laundry, walk down the street to breakfast and bus, and then get on Amtrak in, tra in Truckee. I kind of want to make it work. Hooray, another water crossing. Hooray, dry feet.
Well, it's busy today. We passed like eight or ten people going the other direction. I think I hear more coming. And almost exactly an hour and a half after I left uh, Richardson Lake, I'm at my next break. Exactly how long I thought it was going to take me. And there's a mosquito. This really is a very picturesque little creek. This uh, grade up to Barker Pass has actually been fairly easy. And this is a pretty little section. And up there is my destination. I'm gonna go to the pass right about there, decide if I wanna continue up the mountain and around the other side to a better site 0.9 miles after. What laid down here? Don't know. Up ahead there is the end of this climb, and it's actually been a rather nice climb. I dare say it's been pleasant. There it is, the trailhead. 2.7 miles in about an hour and 20 minutes with a 700 foot plus climb. It's pretty good. It's breezy. It's nice. All the way to the top. And here's the top. Huzzah! Wow, I'm 16 miles from the end. That's me in my shadow. Today, this is a very good end to a very good day. Probably the longest day on trail, 13.2 miles. And I have this view to sit and, you know, enjoy, because it's almost over. Seems courageous to be eating salmon in bear country. Well, the sun has set. This is through the mesh of my tent to keep the mosquitoes out. This is the last possible scenic view of my trip. Good night.